This is the rectangular shaped grave of Redcliffe Salomon, the author of a book called The History and Social Influence of the Potato. Published in 1949, it took nine years to write. Maybe not one you would obviously choose to take off the shelf, but it has never been out of print. But who was Redcliffe Salomon? And why should we thank him every time we enjoy one of our staple foods? Eat a packet of crisps, a plate of chips or some mashed potato. Born in the 1870s into a well-to-do family, Redcliffe's father was a merchant of ostrich feathers at the height of the plume trade when they were used in the hats of fashionable women. Redcliffe trained as a doctor, but in 1904 he developed tuberculosis and his medical career was cut short. When he had recovered, he moved to the countryside in Hertfordshire and there followed an interest in the emerging science of genetics. He started with breeding experiments with a range of animals. After several of these failed, he turned to experiments on the humble potato, asking advice from his gardener. But why? He wanted to find a way to stop potato blight, a virus which led to crop failure. So many people depended on potatoes for their main source of food. In Ireland alone, the Great Famine of the 1840s had led to the death of more than a million people. By 1909, Redcliffe had managed to cross-fertilise seven varieties of potato to prevent them becoming diseased. By crossing wild species with the domestic variety, he found a way to protect the potato. He originally worked in his garden and then as director at the Potato Virus Institute in Cambridge. His important work has allowed us to continue our enjoyment of all things potato. He is buried here in a family plot which includes his parents, his brother Euston and his first wife Nina Davis-Salmon, well known herself as a poet, translator and social activist.